Hi, this is JP from Nautilus over Arkham. Welcome to another Hero Pack Focus, and this time we are uh, looking what cards come in the Spider Hero Pack. So let's get started. So, Spider uh, comes with the pre built protection deck, but let's first look at the signature cards. First off, we have uh, Penny Parker. Uh, Penny Parker is uh, the Alter Ego side of Spider. Uh, Penny Parker has 4 recovery. Uh, Psychogenetic compa compatibility uh, setup puts Spider Suite into play in active side phase up. Maintenance Alter Ego action exalt Spider Suite draw 2 cards. Uh, so I think I'll look at these two cards side by side. So here is the Spider Suite. So we have them side by side. And uh, Spider Suite it has the support text. It has inactive and tech traits. Permanent discard printed text box cannot be treated as if it were blank. Return to base, forced interrupt. When you flip to this side, flip Spider to Penny Parker. Uh, detach Penny Parker from here, moving all counters on her and cards that to her to this card. So basically this, what this means is that if you have upgrades and stuff attached to uh, the spider suit, then uh, when Penny Parker comes into Alter Ego, those cards remain on spider suit and not on Penny Parker, so you can't use some cards that are attached to the spider suit, I think. Well, uh, we'll probably get a good sense when we dive into the rest of the set. Uh, then let's look at the flip side of this card. So we have the spider upgrade. In the interface pilot, permanent discard printed text box cannot be treated as if it were blank. Suit up forced interrupt when you flip to this side, flip spider suit to its attack um, active side. Attach this card to spider suit, moving all counters from this card to, or cards attached to this card to spider suit. So basically, this could have been a big two sided card, which we have seen earlier with um, Ant Man and wasp hero packs so this could be like a double-sided card that is just like this so when i think i'm going to sleeve this as one big card and just flip it over because these always flip when they flip but uh, let's look at the spider suit so spider suit has two port to attack and two defense active web warrior traded sync ratio resource exhaust and Interface upgrade you control generate that upgrades resources. Uh, one thing I forgot to check from the alter ego side. So Penny Parker has four hands has a four and fourteen hit points. So a high hit point count, low hand size count, and Spider Suit has even lower hand size count of three cards and hit points fourteen. So I'm really hoping some of these. Uh, signature cards will boost up the hand size because it will be miserable to play with a hand size of three. Oh well, let's continue. Uh, the signature ally is Venom with a hashtag. So uh, Venom is a four cost ally, one ward, one attack. Uh, Asterix on both of those. Venom gets plus one ward and plus one attack for each sim counter on her. Hero response, after Venom enters play, place one sync counter on her for each resource generated by Spider Suit sync ratio ability to, play, to pay for her. And this can be committed as an energy resource. And Venom has three hit points also. So you really want to play this card once you have those uh, upgrades in play. And Otherwise, this is just a one on one ally with four cost and not that great. Mm, next up, we have All Systems Go. It is, there are three copies of this in the set. All Systems Go is one, a one cost event. 
uh, hero action, choose a ready each interface upgrade you control, or search your deck and discard pile for an interface upgrade and add it to your hand shuffle. And this can be committed as an energy resource. So at least this card will uh, get you those interface upgrades first, and when you have them, you can use this to uh, ready them. Seems like a good deal. Then next we have rapid deployment. There are two copies of this event. It is a two cost event, port uh, traded, hero action port, remove three threat from a scheme. You paid for this card using a resource generated by spider suit. Syn Synch ratio ability, remove three threat from a scheme. So, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So, uh, I think it's a decent card uh, once you get the suit ratio going. Next up, we have Web Trap. A web Trap, uh, there are two copies of this. It, it is a two cost event attack, hero action attack. Deal five damage to an enemy if you paid for this card using a resource generated by Spiders with sync ratio ability standard enemy. And this can be committed as an energy resource. So, again, getting some boost if you use the sync ratio. Next up, we have Aunt May and Uncle Ben. Yeah, it is a one cost support card. Persona traded action exhaust Aunt May and Uncle Ben and discard the top two cards of your deck, top three cards in seven if you have, are in alter ego form. Add each spider card discarded this way to your hand. This can be committed as a mental resource. So, another uh, support that fetches you your signature cards more easily. Mm, next up, we have Ejection Protocol. It is a zero cost support tactic. Your action discard Ejection Protocol, exhaust each interface upgrade you control, set your hit point dial to 6, give your identity a tough status card, and flip to alter evil form. And this can be committed as a physical resource. So, um, basically, once you are uh, getting low in hit points, you can trigger this, get to 6 hit points, uh, go to Alter Ego form, and heal. So, seems like a really good card, and it is an upgrade, so you can just play it down and use it whenever. Next up, we have Spider Command. It is a one cost support location, hero action, uh, exhaust Spider Command, and an interface upgrade. Draw one card. Hero action, exhaust, uh, spider command, choose and discard one card from your hand, ready and interface upgrade. So it works both ways, it gets you a card or loses you a card and either exhaust an upgrade or ready an upgrade. And this can be committed as a mental resource. Next we have host spider. Host spider is a 3 cost upgrade, interface spider. Your action, exhaust host spider, ready spider suit. This can be committed as a wild resource. So this is the first of the interface cards. We really need to get those other cards working. Uh, then we have Psychic Link. And Psychic Link is a 2 cost upgrade interface tech. Hero interrupt when spider suit makes basic ward exhaust Psychic Link. It gets plus two toward for this port. This can be committed as a mental resource. Next, we have a Speed Metal Alloy. A speed Metal Alloy is a one cost upgrade interface tech traded. Hero interrupt when Spider Suit defends against an attack. Exhaust uh, Speed Metal Alloy. It gets plus two defense for that defense and it can be committed as a physical resource. Okay. Well, a lot of text, so basically you get plus two defense when you use that. Uh, last signature card is Web Fruit Compressor. It is a two cost upgrade interface tech. Hero interrupt when Spider Suit makes a basic attack, exhaust Web Fruit Compressor. It gets plus two attack for that attack, and this can be committed as an energy resource. So, same as the um, Speed Metal Alloy buff for attack. So those were the signature cards. Next, let's look at the 
protection cards that come in this deck. So we have a new Daredevil. So this uh, doesn't have a subtitle. So I think that means you can play this Daredevil next to the other protect or or the other Daredevil that is Justice Daredevil. So Daredevil has two uh, costs. It is ally. Uh, two toward one attack, uh, takes two consequential damage when fourteen, three hit points. Response after Daredevil defense against an attack, move one damage from him to the attacking enemy. And this can be committed as a physical resource. So I think this is a really interesting ally to have for dealing with minions. So a one attack minion attacks, you will defend with this then move one damage to that enemy and repeat that a couple of times to hit that enemy but we'll see how this works next up we have Spider-Man Noir uh, Spider-Man Noir is a uh, 3 cost ally with export and axe attack uh, web warrior traded and 3 health X is equal to the number of face down cards attached to Spider-Man Noir uh, response after you resolve a treachery if you control another web warrior card and that's that treachery phase down here to a maximum of three and this can be committed as an energy resource seems like a really interesting card so it is um, a way uh, you you will deal with treacheries and uh, if you have spider-man noir in play you can Get those treacheries out of play for a bit by placing them under Spider-Man Noir and boost him up. That's basically it. Next we have Repurpose. Uh, yeah, there are three copies of this. Repurpose is a zero cost event. Skill traded. Hero action discard the tech. Upgrade you control. Ready your hero and choose for attack or defense. Until the end of the round, your hero gets X plus X to the chosen power, where X is equal to that upgrade printed cost. And this can be committed as an energy resource. Okay. Next up, uh, we have Twit Trip. So, Twit Trip, I think that uh, is the shooting of spider web noise. So, Trip Trip is a uh, two cost event, a power traded, hero action deal one damage to a web or a character you control, place a total of two stun uh, status cards on up to two enemies, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So, I think uh, there are some cards that key off of stun in enemies, so this will be a really good card in those decks that will combo well uh, with. Um, Stunning the enemy and dealing extra damage to that enemy if it has stun or something. Seems like a good card for two costs. Uh, next we have a reprint of Energy Barrier times 3. Then we have Force Field Generator. This is a new card, so let's look at it closely. So it is a 3 cost upgrade. Tech Trader uses 6 energy counters, max 1 per player. Uh, force interrupt when you would take any amount of damage remove that many energy counters from here or each energy counter removed this way prevent one of that damage and this can be committed as a mental uh, energy resource so i think force field generator seems like a good good addition it is a bit costly but it is what it is uh, next up we have spider jingle there are three copies of this so spider jingle uh, it is a one cost upgrade, superpower interrupt when you would reveal an encounter card, you deal one damage to a web warrior character you control. If that card is a treachery, cancel it. Uh, cancel its when revealed effect and discard spider tingle. And it can be committed as a mental resource. So you your hero doesn't need to be a web warrior, but you need to have an ally with the keyword at least. So you can play this, but that is good because I think I would want to use this card in most protection decks dependent of 
which ally, uh, which hero it is. So a decent card. So that was the pre-built deck. Uh, next up, let's look at. No, actually we have still have the uh, basic cards. So here is the first basic card of the pre-built deck. So it is Spider Ham, uh, the Poker, uh, three cost ally with two four and two attack. Cartoon Web Warrior traded. Play only if you control a Web Warrior card three, uh, and also three health. Mm. Forced response after Spider Ham attacks or towards discard the top card of the encounter deck. For each boost icon discarded this way, deal one damage to Spider Ham. And Spider Ham can be committed as a physical resource. Okay. Next up, we have another Spider Man. Uh, it is Spider Man Otto Octavius. Uh, it is a two cost ally with one port and two attack. Takes two consequential damage when attacking, two health, and Web Warrior traded. Play only if you control a Web Warrior card. Response after you play a Spider uh, uh, after you play Spider Man from your hand, ready an upgrade you control. If that upgrade has a tech trade, draw one card, and this can be committed as a mentor resource. So combos of, of the tech upgrades like uh, energy shield and uh, force field generator. So seems like a good addition to this deck. Uh, next up we have limitless stamina. There are three copies of this. Uh, limitless stamina is a one cost event, super power traded. Play only if your identity has at least 14 printed hit points. Your action ready your hero. And this can be committed as a... Uh, uh, physical resource. So, of course, Spider Suit has, or yeah, Spider has uh, 14 hit points, but you probably will be taking some damage, so not really hot on this card. Uh, next up, we have Unshakable. Uh, it is a one cost upgrade. Condition superpower play only if your identity has at least 14 printed hit points. Your identity gains steady. Steady characters require two status cards to, of the same type to be stunned or confused. And this can be committed as a physical resource. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not really keen on these cards. Well, the Unshakable is better because if you get this in your starting hand, you flip to. Uh, hero form, play this down, it is down until the end of the game unless something discards the upgrade. But you, you can lose uh, hit points and still have this in play and still have steady. So you just need, need to uh, have this in play before you lose any health. But yeah, that is all of the play cards for the pre-built deck. Uh, next up uh, we'll look at the application. So the application of Spider is Inherited Burden, uh, give to the Penny Parker player. You may flip to Alter Ego, form, choose, exhaust Penny Parker, remove Inherited Burden from the game, or choose and discard one interface, upgrade you control, discard this application, and this can be committed as, uh, actually, uh, this has two boost icons, I would like to say. So not that bad, I think. Uh, then we have the Nemesis set, and uh, we have the Giant Monster attack side scheme first. Uh, so, as an additional cost to thwart this scheme, you must spend an energy resource. This has the crisis icon, so you can't uh, thwart the main scheme while this is in play. And this comes in play with four, uh, uh, four threat. And this has three boost icons. Next up we have Morbius. Uh, Morbius is a minion with two scheme and two attack, creature and six health. Force response after engaged hero generates any number of resources, deal an equal amount of damage to that hero. And uh, Spider Nemesis minion and two boost icons. So this seems like a really nasty minion. You really want to get this out of play before you generate any resources or you will take extra damage from this. And the last cards are three copies of Energy Drain. 
So energy drain is a treachery. When revealed Audrey alter ego, choose to either spend two energy resources or exhaust your identity. Or uh, when real hero, choose to take uh, choose to either spend two energy resources or take three damage. And this has one boost icon. So that is the Nemesis set. Uh, lastly, let's look at the new other faction player cards. There are only leadership cards in this deck as addition. So we have the Clarity of Purpose. Uh, there are three copies of this. Clarity of Purpose is a one cost upgrade. It is a condition traded upgrade. Attached to a friendly character, max one per character. Uh, Hero response, exhaust this card and deal 1 damage to attach character, generate a wild resource. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So, another way to generate wild resources. Uh, I think, for example, Nova really likes wild resources, so this could be a really good addition to Nova. But, we'll see. Uh, so, no more player cards, but uh, again, we have a modular encounter set here. So we have the Iron Spider Sinister 6 and the first card is the side scheme Grand Law Seni. Uh, threat cannot be removed from this scheme while a criminal minion is in play and this has a crisis icon and four threats when there's play and three boost icons. Uh, we have a lot of Minions again, so we have the bombshell So bombshell is a minion with two scheme three attack and four hit points criminal traded uh, Divide damage from bombshells attack amongst each character the attack player controls as evenly as possible and uh, Boost deal one indirect damage to each player exhaust each character damage this way and this has a boost uh, a boost effect, not a boost icon. Okay, next up we have Electro. Electro is a minion with one scheme and two attack and three hit points. Uh, criminal traded and asterisk on the hit points. Electro gets plus one hit point for each wild resource it attaches to her. And. Uh, Post response after Electro engages you or activates against you, choose one card from your hand with a printed energy resource and that's it to her. And Electro has one boost icon. Seems like an interesting enemy. Next up we have the Hopgoblin. Hopgoblin is a minion with two scheme and two attack criminal traded, five hit points. Post interrupt. Uh, when Hopgoblin would attack you, discard cards from the top of the deck equal to the Hopgoblin's attack. Instead, take one indirect damage for each boost icon discarded this way. And Hopgoblin has two boost icons. That is actually quite interesting because th this really simulates the, that Hopgoblin just is throwing bombs all over and you really don't know how much damage you are going to take. Next up, we have the Iron Spider. So, Iron, Iron Spider is a minion with two scheme and two attack. Criminal Elite Traded and uh, six hit points. Guard, Patrol, Retaliate, Toughness. So, a lot of keywords there. And uh, Asterix is Iron Spider's attack gains overkill. And three boost icons. So, a lot to uh, work through when you get this minion into play. Next up, we have Sandman. Sandman is a minion with one scheme and one attack, seven health and criminal uh, traded. Force response after Sandman takes any amount of damage from an attack, discard top seven cards of the encounter deck. Uh, boost ability uh, or boost effect, discard the top seven cards of the encounter deck. And uh, Sandman has a boost effect and a boost icon. Next, we have Spot. Uh, Spot is a minion with one skin, one attack. Criminal traded, four health. When defeated, if Spot was defeated without excess damage, shuffle him into the encounter deck. 
and uh, boost effect put this minion in playing gates with you and uh, it has a boost effect no boost icons last card in the set is search in crime it is an environment so search when you draw it each criminal minion gains search Hero action, if there are no criminal minions in play, spend two resources of any type, discard this card, and this has two boost icons, so a card full of search, which is not really nasty, actually. And that concludes all the cards that come in the spider um, hero pack. I think this will be an interesting deck to play, and I'm really looking forward to using the Iron Spider Sinister Six modular set in my games but hope you guys like this uh, overview of the spider hero pack thanks for watching and until next time